Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you my 2024 jewelry collection, including Cartier, Van Cleef and Appels, Hermes, Chanel, Dior, and Gingerberry, which is a brand that I discovered recently and I absolutely love. So let me start with my engagement ring. I put both of my engagement ring and wedding band in this Mrs. Ring box. This is a 1.52 carat round diamond in G color with excellent cuts. It was secured by six prongs. I added a hidden halo underneath the diamond so it sits higher than usual and that's why a lot of people said that it looks very big. And I also added a basket around the diamond. I did not get it from a luxury brand because they are quite over priced for me so i got it custom made at a family jewelry store in new york they helped me source a few diamonds based on my preference and our budget and then we finished the whole design together i love that it is very simple and classic and i'm just so glad that i got to design my own ring Next is my Trinity wedding band from Cartier. It is made with 18K yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold, set with 53 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.23 carat in the middle. The ring width is 3.5 mm. I love the three layers in this ring and the meaning of the Trinity collection. When I first discovered it at the Cartier store, I was so surprised to find out that it can be stacked perfectly with my engagement ring and they complement each other. The ring is very comfortable and it is much more comfortable than the Cartier Love wedding band which I will show you later. So if you're looking for a unique wedding band, I highly recommend you guys to check out this one. I really love that this wedding band complements my Cartier Love bracelet which I will show you more details later in this video. So before I show you more jewelry from Cartier, let me share with you the earrings that I'm wearing. I purchased these earrings for myself as a birthday gift earlier this year. I found this brand through a YouTuber that I really like. Her name is Ishi. The earrings are crafted from 7 to 7.5 mm Aurora Pros, which are the finest type among freshwater pros. And they are set in the finest 18K white gold. The earrings feature 3A grade pearls that bring a touch of sophistication to any look. They are durable and very comfortable to wear. They are so unique. I just love the adjustable pearl feature. You can adjust the position of the pearls based on your preference, your outfits, or even your face shape. You can push the middle pearl all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. So with just one pair of earrings, you can create so many different looks. I just find it to be so versatile. After wearing these earrings for a few months, Ginger Very Rich out to me and they gifted me a few other jewelry pieces which i was so honored and so happy about this is the starry night necklace crafted with 11 aurora pros of 6 to 7 milliliter in size and paired with an 18k gold chain the pros have a strong luster they are flawless and have a brilliant shine it is just such an elegant and feminine style the chain measures a total of 45 centimeters in length, but its adjustable nature offers versatile styling options. It can be worn as a full-length everyday necklace, looking sophisticated without being overly formal, and you can match it with daily t-shirts or silk shirts for work. Alternatively, it can be styled as a white chain, offering a softer and more elegant look that pairs wonderfully with dresses. I think it looks perfect perfect no matter if you wear square neck, off the shoulder, or just v-neck. To me, it has exceptional value for the price. Another necklace that I wanted to show you is this Cinerity necklace, which is made of 4.5 to 7 milliliter, perfectly round and luminous Akoya pearl, which is considered one of the highest grades of the pearls. Its brilliance is so radiant and it is often referred to as a mini light bulb. I think it's such an accurate description of how the pearl looks like. The selected pearls showcase a cherry blossom hue, 
offering both an intense reflection and a pink overtone. Each pearl is carefully detailed with metal caps on each side, and the interior of the pearl has an adjustable setting, allowing it to be securely positioned anywhere along the chain. You can clasp it to form a pendant that resembles a smiling face, or you can spread the pearls out to create a starry sky chain effect. So basically, you can get two or even more necklaces just by purchasing one piece. It complements any outfit and occasion. I also love the fact that it is so much more affordable than Mickey Moto. The price is about one fifth of the price of a similar design from Mickey Moto, which makes it so much more affordable. Now moving on to earrings. This pair of earrings are crafted with 7 to 7.5 mm Aurora pearls with natural diamonds and 18k yellow gold. It features a very small design where the position of the pearls can be adjusted allowing you to customize their length to perfectly suit any different face shape or style preferences. This unique feature also enables you to create different looks to match your mood or outfit, adding a touch of personalization to accessory collection. The diamonds incorporated in these earrings are small, but they radiate a dazzling brilliance that captures and reflects light so beautifully. This detail adds an extra layer of sophistication. They are not just a piece of jewelry, but a very versatile accessory that can transition effortlessly from day to night making them an essential addition to any jewelry collection. They would be a perfect choice for those who appreciate both style and functionality. Another pair of earrings that I wanted to show you are timeless piece of jewelry. I just absolutely love the Prince Diana's iconic style. They are crafted from 7 to 7.5 mm Akoya pearls, natural diamonds, and 18k gold. And they are of luxurious and refined quality. The classic pair of earrings are incredibly versatile, making them suitable for women of all ages and perfect for any occasional outfit. You will never go wrong with a classic pair of pearl earrings. They embody a timeless elegance that never goes out of style and I also really love the pink overtone of the pros. The last jewelry piece that I wanted to show you from Gingerberry is this unyielding me ring. The piece is crafted from sterling silver, features an asymmetric open-ended design with two mismatched Aurora pearls. I love that one is smaller and another one is bigger, giving it a very modern twist. The large pearl measures 7 to 8 mm and the smaller one is 5 to 6 mm. Both have radiating and stunning luster and flawless surface. Usually I'm not a ring person because a lot of the rings do not feel that comfortable to me, but I have no issue at all with this ring. I love that the band is thick and wide, so it gives me extra comfort. My fingers are of different sizes, but because this is an open-ended design, so I can wear it on different fingers. I also wanted to show you the packaging of Gingerberry. They are perfect for gifting to any woman in your life who embody grace, wisdom and sophistication and also who love pearls. Gingerberry source their pearls through natural cultivation which is a process that ensures the most authentic and luxurious pearls available in the market. Each pearl is carefully selected to guarantee a perfect balance of luster, color, size and shape. They offer a diverse range of pearl types and designs allowing customers to find the perfect piece that matches their preferences and style. The Black Friday sale starts from October 27th to the end of November. So make sure you check out their website and use my coupon code RENE15 to get extra 15% off on top of their Black Friday sale. That way you can save a lot of money. 
Now moving on, let me show you another ring that I have, which is from Cartier. This is the Love Wedding Band in a thinner version, which was my first Cartier piece. It is in yellow gold and it is very dainty and very shiny. I pick size 7 and I wear it in my right middle finger because if I wear it on my left middle finger, it's going to scratch with my wedding band and my engagement ring. When I first purchased this piece, I was planning to stack it with some other ring but eventually I didn't buy any ring to stack with it just because this ring is not that comfortable the edge feels very sharp so honestly I didn't even wear it that much in the past a year or two comment down below to let me know if you guys find the love wedding band comfortable or not next piece that I wanted to show you is my love bracelet in the regular version which is the thickest or widest version it has a thinner one and recently Katia launched a middle size it is in yellow gold my wrist size is about 15 centimeters and I got size 16 I'm actually very glad that I got this size rather than the thinner version to me it is more of a statement piece because it is very eye-catching and it is iconic in the beginning, I was concerned that I might not feel comfortable with this bracelet on me 24-7 But actually after a few days, I got used to it Now it has become my everyday jewelry I only took it off when I travel or when I had a surgery done I love that this bracelet goes with any different types of makeup or outfit And it just gives me so much joy when I see it every day I absolutely love it and I think it is so worth it Worth the money because I get to wear it every single day. Now moving on to the next brand which is a watch from Rado. It is in black ceramic case with a two-toned silver and black ceramic and stainless steel bracelet. It has 38 diamonds around the black dial. There are also four diamond hour markers. The size is 22 by 18 mm. It is of a rectangular case shape which suits me really well. I love that it makes me look elegant and feminine. It has a hidden push button deployment clasp and it is very comfortable. It is water resistant. It was a gift from my family when I got the offer to come to the United States for my master's degree. So it is a very meaningful piece to me. I've been living in the US for over nine years now. It has been with me since day one. Now moving on, I I would like to share with you two jewelry pieces from Van Cleef and Appels. I got these two motif magic Alhambra earrings in yellow gold with Mother of Pro back in 2021 right before my wedding. The Mother of Pro is just so classy and dreamy and they are my favorites from Van Cleef and Appels. I've been interested in this specific pair for a long time. The upper motif is in vintage size and the bottom motif is in magic size. I love that it is slightly dangling when I'm moving. It creates a very elegant and feminine look, especially with the Mother of Pro and that's why I chose to wear them on my wedding. They have become a very meaningful piece to me also. The Mother of Pro slightly changes color when you move and has an iridescent appearance. If you have been watching my YouTube videos, you will notice that I wear them very often. I love its back clip, which makes it very comfortable to wear, and it makes me feel very secure. Next piece is my Mother of Pro 5 Motif Vintage Alhambra Bracelet. I got them about two years ago, and it took me a while to decide which one that I wanted because I was deciding between Mother of Pro, Onyx, and some other stones. Eventually, I decided to go with Mother of Pro, which I think is a very good choice because it matches perfectly with my earrings. It was very loose in the beginning, so I had to have it resized. I got six links removed, which is more of a snug fit. I could also have four links removed, but I just feel like it goes down too much if I raise my arm. If you wanted to see the difference between getting four and six links removed you can check out my previous video that are linked above and you can check out my reel on instagram to see how i wear it on my own i think it is such a perfect match with my cartier love bracelet wearing both of them together gives me a good balance it is elegant and feminine and it is a piece that i can pass on to my future generation 
Now moving on to Hermes, this is the finesse pendant that I got earlier this year. The inspiration of the motif comes from the Hermes signature toggle clasp. It is in white gold set with diamonds and snap closure. The total carat weight of the diamond is 0.46 carat with 17 diamonds on the motif. I have to say that it is very sparkly and very beautiful. I've seen a lot of people wear this necklace just because it is one of the most popular jewelry piece from Hermes. And if you do want to get a quarter bag from Hermes, meaning a Birkin or Cali, usually people will buy fine jewelry. And that's one of the reasons why I picked this one. I'm a very lazy person, so I don't really like to change my necklace often. I wear this pretty much 90% of the time since I got this necklace the quality is great and it is just very durable next is my k-pop watch the size is 23 by 23 mm it is a steel watch with silver dial the original strap that i got is in natural berania calf skin and it is just perfect for office look but because the strap is interchangeable i purchased alligator strap i'm not a red person but i find this color to be very attractive it is very elegant and very ladylike i love the fact that you can buy different straps in different colors and leathers so it can match different outfits and occasions. This red alligator leather makes it more suitable for a formal event. Next is the Hermes H Dunk ring which is in rose gold set with 27 diamonds. It is a match of Hermes symbols placed on a lightweight bangle. The H blends into the length of the Shan Dunk. The total carat weight is 0.07 carat. Actually, I love this ring much more than my Cartier Love Wedding Band. It is substantial and sparkly and it feels very comfortable. The edge is not sharp at all. I love Hermes Rose Gold. I'm going to show you a comparison between Hermes Rose Gold and Cartier Yellow Gold. I love that Hermes Rose Gold is not too pink and it suits my yellow tone skin very well. It has a feminine touch. After wearing it for a while, you can see that it has some scratches on the ring but they are not too noticeable. I think it is very durable and it is of high quality. Absolutely love this ring and I would recommend recommend it to anyone who wants to get a fine jewelry piece from Hermes. Next, I wanted to share with you three pairs of Chanel earrings. The first pair is this pearl earrings. They are iconic, classic. I absolutely love the dangling pearl underneath the signature CC logo. I wore them on my wedding and my city hall ceremony. They are very eye-catching and just very gorgeous. I also wore them a lot when I go out for some formal events. If you don't really like the imitation pearl detail, you can go for these CC logo earrings. Again, they are very iconic and classic. But if you don't want such a big CC logo, you can pick something smaller, like the third pair of Chanel earrings. They also go with everything. You can wear them more often than the bigger CC logo. I think they are quite expensive. And honestly, the quality is not that great. It already oxidized a lot from the back. And honestly, they are not that comfortable to wear compared to my other earrings but it's just good to have some Chanel earrings you know especially the classic style and you can pair them with pretty much everything. The last piece that I wanted to show you is my ABC Dior earring. It is a small white resin bead which is attached to the front of the ear stud. This is the letter R which is the initial for my English name and it is studded with crystals that completes the design. It is a gift from my bestie. I love that it is such a unique accessory that you can wear it individually or together with another letter of your choice. It is just such a cute design. I love that it goes very well with casual outfits such as a white t-shirt and jeans. So these are all the jewelry pieces that I wanted to share with you. Make sure to check out Gingerberry on their Black Friday sale and use my discount code RENEE15 for 15% off to save more money. Comment down below to let me know which piece do you like the most from my collection. Like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.